must be so relieved that Michael and Christina are on their way home. God, Carly must be just beside herself with happiness. Yeah, it takes a lot of stress away from us. Yeah, believe me, I know what it is to worry about your son. Any progress in that department? Oh, same old, same old. Dante's still in town, he's still undercover, he's still trying to bring Sonny down. I know, it's music to your ears. Well, not at the expense of your son. Who's son? Who's that? Olivia. Uh, Carly just walked in. Did she hear anything? No. Uh, thanks for taking care of everything, and uh, I'll tell her that you said hi. Okay? I don't know how we ever managed without her. Mm -hmm. She found a new uh, produce supplier who's starting tomorrow, so disaster averted. What was that about her son? I just uh, told her that Michael and Christina were coming home, and she mentioned some trouble with her own son. Oh, Dante. The He's not happy that she's seeing Johnny's Cara. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, I can't say that I blame him. I mean, you know, who... I'm not happy that she's... Not everyone is lucky enough to have a oh, true blue guy like you, I tell you. Well, you know I love you, but I can't come over every time you call me and blow my cover. Don't do me any favors, all right? You got your manicotti in the fridge? Who do I look like? Your grandmother? Trying to feed your face every ten seconds so you love me more? Go see what's in the fridge and help yourself. Yeah. After we have a chat. Ah. Evidence. There is no such thing as a free meal. Yeah. Jason found Christina and Michael in Mexico. He's bringing them home right now. Oh, that'll make Sonny cheerful. Yes. Do the math. Sonny has been very distracted with his kids missing and Claudia losing the baby. He's not going to be distracted anymore. Okay? With both his kids tucked safely back in bed, he's going to be able to focus. He's going to notice suspicious behavior. Okay, so I'll have to be more careful now. Uh, my usual reckless self. And Jason Morgan? I believe that his reputation speaks for itself. You need to get out of town before they both figure out that you're undercover. <laughs> you wound me, Ma. I mean, with all my expertise and training, you don't think I can fool Sonny Corinthos and his number one hitman? I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. You gotta get out of town, or I will find a way to force you out. Did you just threaten me? Because I'm not 10 years old. We're not in the Little League here. You can't pull me out for disobeying you. I'm trying to save your life. Or Sonny and John Zakara. Hey, don't insult me. Well, then don't disrespect me. Sonny will have you killed. I don't think you have any idea what that actually means. Ma, what kind of a cop would I be if I bailed on a job just because my mother thought it was too dangerous? What, what, what kind of a man would I be? I have never tried to interfere with your work. Never. I am so proud of what you've chosen to do with your life. And I thank God every day that he gave me such an amazing son. Okay, that's why I'm not going to sit by and keep my mouth shut while you throw your life away. Wow, way to have faith in me. Honey, have you even considered all the ways that this could go wrong? Yeah, one of them is you. Your old friends with Sonny, you're sleeping with his brother-in-law. Right now, you are the most dangerous part of this whole job. If you say something, Sonny, if you slip up... Sonny will never hear about you from me. And Johnny? I tried to break it off with him. I thought I could, uh... I love you, Ma. And look, I'm the one who got blessed. I'm grateful for you giving me the heads up about Sonny's kids coming home. I'll keep an extra eye out. Oh, you got three of them now? I'll be careful. For you, I'll be extra careful. But I'm too far into this to back out now. for her. I hate them. I hate all of them. Okay, I really can't be dealing with You know with what, this, John? Right? You should hear them. You should hear them. Like, she's the only person who matters. Like, my son, my little baby, is nothing but an inconvenience. Okay, if something happened that involved the loss yeah, of your baby... You... Yeah, there is something that happened. Alexis did not cause the accident. It was Christina. Christina was driving without a license. She... She forced my car off the road, she killed my baby, and Sonny and Alexis are back at the house right now strategizing about how to save their little girl's ass. Like, my son is nothing but a dirty little secret that has to be covered up. They're not gonna get away with this. Hey, you started without me. 
My kid is gonna turn me into a wine if he doesn't get a major attitude adjustment. Kid? <sighs> yeah, he, he is entirely too independent for his own good and he doesn't listen to a damn word I say. <laughs> damn kids today. Don't you hate it when they get like that? Hey, come on. Your kid is a grown man. Stop talking about him like he's 12. Okay, look, I don't even know the guy. Mm -hmm. For all I know, he could be a hothead or a deadbeat or I don't even know if he's somebody I'd grab a beer with. But what I do know is that maybe your kid gives you grief because you don't treat him like an adult. Well, I am very sorry, but he's always going to be my baby. <laughs> And for the record, he's not a deadbeat. He happens to be very dedicated and very good at what he does. It's just he thinks he's indestructible, especially on the job. OK, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult the guy. You never even mentioned that he had a job. So tell me, what does Dante do for a living? I don't I believe I mentioned that my son was a Adrenaline junkie, yes, so naturally he gravitated towards a uh, high-risk profession. Is he in the military? Oh, uh, he is a firefighter, actually. Mm. And he doesn't seem to care how much he keeps me up at night. <laughs> well, hey, if he's risking his life for something good, if he is loyal to some ideal, there's something to be said for that, right? <laughs> Sounds like you admire my son. <laughs> well, fighting fires and rescuing people is a hell of a lot better than killing him over territory and money. That's not who you are, John. <laughs> yes. But hey, as long as it's a business, right? As long as the people getting involved, getting hurt, know the consequences, I can deal with that. What I can't deal with is Michael's situation. You know, when some kid ends up getting his life destroyed. 